Hi all, welcome to another video tutorial of Easy Way to Automation. So today we are going to see how can we attach screenshot to a lure report. So this is part four. If you haven't watched part one, part two, and part three, I will recommend you to go and watch. So whenever actually we are executing any test case irrespective of the execution status of the test case we have to take the screenshot because that is something we are doing uh, to show that okay we have executed that particular test case and uh, that is something called as your test case evidence okay so we are generating a lure report then how can we attach screenshot to that particular lure report so let's go back to our project so here we are executing these two class files perform right click dot java and another one is verify links dot java so here my objective is to perform right click right so wherever i am performing right click okay so there actually i have to use one overloaded method that is called as add attachment okay so this is an overloaded method okay so if you see here actually i am performing a right click so after this i can take the screenshot okay so so i just have to write allure dot add attachment okay so if you see this is an overloaded method because we have uh, got so many options right the method name is same but those are different in parameters either the number of parameters or the data type of those parameters right so we can take uh, the first one okay add attachment okay so basically the first parameter you have to give uh, some name okay what is that uh, screenshot um, about okay for example i'll just write uh, performing right click for example i can write performing right click okay and uh, the second parameter okay its return type is input stream right so if i go to my test utility dot java here i have written okay uh, two methods for taking screenshot if you see the first method is returning one um, string value okay that string value is nothing but the absolute path of the file okay the screenshot okay so and the second one is like uh, i am uh, generating the screenshot as uh, output type base 64 and i am returning that so what i will do i will take uh, one copy of this method okay and i'll just uh, paste it over here i'll just change uh, you know like uh, the return type to file input stream okay so these are not required actually i'll just uh, delete okay so basically if you see here actually i am generating the screenshot with output type as file okay so i'll return okay so one object of new file stream one object of file input stream okay and here i will uh, pass the reference value of file class okay so just uh, take this Got it? Oh, 
okay so i'll just uh, na rename this uh, method okay get screenshot path as file input stream okay so now all i have to do is i just have to call this particular uh, method okay this is a static method and we can call this method with the help of class name so let's go to this uh, class file okay i'll just write test utility dot get screenshot path as file input strip okay that's it okay similarly if i go to verify links okay so here actually we are trying to find out uh, the broken links but if i want to take screenshot okay all i have to do is like uh, after this right suppose if after this i'll just write uh, lur dot add attachment same thing so i'll just write here uh, broken links okay and i'll call that particular static method okay which is defined in our test utility class okay let's see the error why we are getting error here okay so there is uh, one exception io exception so that has to be handled okay so what i can do here is okay i can call here okay so that uh, it will come within try and catch block okay try catch block so now we are done okay so let's execute our test cases and check whether screenshots are getting generated or not so i will uh, execute this uh, xml file testng.xml file so let's run it so it is going to execute four test cases but we have taken screenshots uh, for two test cases so it has started running our test cases this is the test case where actually we are performing right click and in this test case we are trying to find out the broken links okay so now our test execution is over so we will go to the root project folder we will navigate so this is our root project folder so i have to open command prompt here and we already know the command to generate html report so all i have to write is lur space surf space okay and uh, our uh, json files are present inside uh, this folder right lur hyphen results so dot slash lur hyphen results 
press enter and it is going to start uh, the tomcat server internally and it's going to generate your html report so this is our lur report let's go to our test uh, suite we will expand it okay so if i go down i can see this right this is the attachment okay let's expand it so see it has taken screenshot for us and from this uh, screenshot it is clearly visible that we were trying to perform right click and uh, we did it and if i go to verify header links let's uh, scroll down so it has taken so many screenshots if you see okay because uh, there was a for loop okay but it has taken the same screenshot because uh, we were on this particular page okay so this is how we can uh, take a screenshot and attach to a lure report i hope you found this uh, video useful and if you like it please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel to learn selenium in java thank you for watching